Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I have decided to do you next for the three month forecast. So this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up. Now this is, you know, you could say, I mean, this is being recorded in September, you could say this is for October, November and December or month one, month two and month three. But since we are at the end of September now, you know, I would urge you, this is for the next full month, okay? So whenever you watch this, this is for your next full month, all right? It's going to start with that. So what do we have for Libra? Three-month forecast. Month number one. We're going to get one of these. Month number one. Month number two. Month number three. Month number three. No reversals during this reading. Libra. <laughs> Month number one. Month number two. Month number two. Month number three. Month number three. Libra. Month number one. Month number one. Well, well, well. Did you see that? If you did, that wasn't fair. We got two cards for month number one. Month number one. No reversals in this pull. Month number one. Month number two. Month number two. And month number three. Month number three. And an overall energy for the next three months, please. An overall energy for the next three months for Libra. One card, please. The Ace of Swords. This is the truth, clarity, the power. This is the sword of truth, power, and clarity. This is a wake-up call. This is an awakening. This is an epiphany. This is a new approach. This is a new idea. So, this is having the power, seeing the truth, We're going to start with month number one. This is also a card of victory. Okay. Tick tock. Tick tock. The clock is ticking. It's time. It's time for something, Libra. It's time. Month number one or October. Affirmations. So, before we break into these cards, we're just going to read this. We're going to start with affirmations. Powerful intentions manifest now. Be pos positive. Human beings are conscious creators. We have the potential to shift a negative mindset to positive. Adjusting our thoughts in sub in subtle 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 I can never say that word 
brain waves through positive mantras. We are able to re retrain our brains after trauma, kick bad habits, and set positive goals and intentions. We can change our perceptions by creating positive word sequences to alter our belief systems. The power of the I am, which is this, presence has the potential to shift, awaken, and align our soul's blueprint to our physical being. The I am presence is the higher aspect of ourself that connects directly to God. Invoking the I am presence connects us with God, the universe, our higher self, into other realms of consciousness. Using the I am presence gives your affirmations power. I am strengthens your psyche on the conscious and subconscious level, creating power and intent with every statement. Previously, you may have tried using affirmations but lost motivation due to lack of results. The key to success is to consciously remove words with negative connotations. True affirmations are spoken with belief in your heart's core. You must believe with no doubt placed upon their words. Right now, your higher self is asking you to be serious about your intentions. To create a positive and open mindset, perseverance, will, and patience is required. Like the caterpillar, transformation takes time if you want long-lasting results. Acknowledge any thought, feelings, and possible resistance to positive statements. If you are in a state of conflict, ask yourself questions about why you feel this way and how you can cooperate to retreat, achieve the best possible outcome. Creating conversations with the self in this way support deep change and resolution to past patterns and behavior. Invoke the I am presence with all your affirmations to solidify and anchor the change and transformation you desire. Using affirmations daily can improve your overall well-being. Affirmation. I am the light divine. I am will. I am fixed design. Anything, any affirmation you make, start it with I am. Am I am okay? Now let's read TikTok. Timelessness, divine timing, in measurable time. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order, were happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire, so release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld with you from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them right on time. There is going to be some sort of miracle. Okay, Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's productive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. So it's time for something. It is time. Now let's get these. We're not doing reversals. So. Libra, month number one. Four of Cups, discontent discontent wanting more you're 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 feeling like you're not getting you're not getting what you want right you're not receiving something 
you may not be realizing it looks like looks like you aren't seeing that there's a new passionate opportunity here okay there is there's a new passionate opportunity here that you're you mean it's like you're not seeing it your eyes are closed okay so you know it's like you're missing an opportunity this is missing an opportunity this is a a new partner a new exciting opportunity something that could really grow um, this is saying just go for it just go for it please something is is coming very very quickly this is being in the driver's seat the chariot this is mastering your emotions to move forward this is replacing fear with faith I feel as though um, you may be feeling overwhelmed you may be feeling like you too, there's, this is too much for you there's something that is that is weighing you down that you need to let go of um, I feel as though that maybe somebody has turned their back on you and you know you 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 may be feeling overwhelmed with this transformation this transition the chariot is a card of transformation transition I feel in in the first month number one somebody is moving they are moving in a new direction whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with somebody is moving or they are traveling to a new place um, and it's, it's pretty overwhelming. Somebody is, is feeling uh, burdened and, and discontent over this movement, okay? I feel as though the decision has already been made. Um, you could be dealing with a person that is not communicating with you. The sword is down, and it's a time of acceptance, whatever the case is. I feel as though... You know, this, this person has turned their back, okay? This person has turned their back and they are no longer invested. It's like they're looking at a new place. They're looking at a new endeavor. So I'm not sure if somebody has turned their back on you but um, or you've turned your back on them. But whatever is happening, I feel like this is what is meant to happen. This is this is accepting the truth, seeing the truth. Um Let's get some clarifiers on this. You have a new passionate beginning here. This is a new partner, something very exciting. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is like sadness, the Four of Cups, and not seeing, not seeing perhaps the truth about something, okay? Um, Ten of Pentacles. Now, this there could be the end of a relationship here, this end of something that, you know, I mean, that's what that is. There could be the end of a, a commitment, an end of a legacy, you know, and you have to accept it. And, and there's a reason for this. There's a reason because there's something more fruitful, more fertile for you. So it's a very fertile time. Um, I feel as though some of you may be upset that you're on your own or you may be going your own way. Maybe... You know, you're you're becoming independent. Maybe you're going through some sort of spiritual growth right now, um, and you're overwhelmed by it. That somebody is is overwhelmed by their independence. You could be, you know, trying to uh, force something and and using powers of manifestation to you know force something and put a name on it. That it doesn't work like that. You have to allow what is meant to be to be. So I feel as though we have a very self-sufficient individual here that is overwhelmed with uh, their future path. But I feel like you will be putting yourself in the driver's seat and changing your direction. Um, two of Wands. This is reversed. Um, I hate to take it reverse because I said I wasn't going to do that. But this is unable to step outside of your comfort zone. We're going to flip it. This is a moment of decision. Do you want to keep holding on to the past or do you want to move forward? It feels like you have somebody coming into your life that is very passionate. Somebody that wants to take you. They want to take you on a new adventure. They they want to... Um, Built something with you and it feels like you you need to allow it you know you need to let it happen um two of pentacles it's it's time to you know be flexible uh allow this is a, some sort of change that you are experiencing and you and you need to just allow it that's what i see i feel as though it's really time for a change this is it, things are changing for you and I think it's out of your control 
I do feel like it's out of your control. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has already made their decision and you're discontent over, you know, accepting it. But the reason, there's a reason for this. There's a reason because you have a new opportunity. It's a very fertile time. So it's time for you to work on yourself. Focus on yourself. Work on work on um, your growth, your soul growth. Um what is meant to you will come to you at the right time, but you, you need to really work on yourself. That's what this looks like. I think that you're going to be on your own, working on yourself. And, and, and it's, it's, it's almost like you're, you're on this road by yourself. You're taking this road by yourself. You're, you're leaving the past behind. And you're, and you're needing to adapt to some sort of changing circumstances that are, are heavy on you. It's a, it's, a, it's a change that is heavy, okay? It's a burdensome change that is being accepted. So I feel like October is a month of making a decision. You know, you're at this crossroads. You're making a decision to just go your own way, to take back control of your life, to take the reins and really go to a new place. So some of you may be moving or you may be traveling experiencing new things I feel like um, you may be turning your back on something okay whether it's you or another person somebody is turning their back and going their own way whether they're turning their back on you or you're turning your back on them I feel like uh, we have somebody here that has made a very practical logical decision you know to end something that has caused a lot of discontent in their life and in the reason is there's something more passionate here there's something more exciting so I feel like October is a month of of change okay this is change of of um, taking the high road you know taking the high road by yourself that's what I see and I feel like it's in the I am is I am. It's not we are. It's I am. It's I. Me, myself, and I. Okay? So I feel like you're going to be focusing on yourself in October. So that's what I see, Libra, for October. Now this is acceptance of the truth. Acceptance of something. <laughs> it could be the acceptance of a new partner, even. Let's look at month number two. Month number two. Communication and exchanging gifts. This is in November or month number two. We're going to go ahead and lay these out this time. Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords. Two of Swords, the Moon, Five of Swords, and the Six of Wands. So, it looks as though in month number two, this is a card of wish fulfillment, happiness. This is something uh, changing very suddenly, the Knight of Swords. This is something happening very suddenly. Something that you don't see coming with the Moon card. Something that, you know, you haven't seen is about to come in, okay? You didn't see it coming, now it's coming. Um, you may be feeling defeated with the Five of Swords. And, you know, there's some sort of denial here or painful, stressful decision that you need to make with the Two of Swords. So in the month number two or month no in November, you are going to have to make a painful, stressful decision to, you know, open your heart or to accept something again. But the overall outcome is the Six of Wands, victory in success. So being defeated. So somebody is feeling defeated or being defeated after some sort of betrayal. Um, the Five of Swords is a card of... Not maybe you weren't seeing the betrayal, you know, and now it's being revealed. This is a card of healing as well. So I think as I think that in November things are about to change really fast. Something that you did not see, something is not as it seems. It's like something is about to be revealed that is going to make you very, very happy. Okay. This is being recognized. This is 
um, being successful, the Six of Wands. So I think that something is coming into your life suddenly that is going to make you happy. This could even help you to heal from some sort of conflict. I think that you have been in, maybe you've been in uh, hiding or you've been in a state of denial or avoiding. You could have been avoiding something. Maybe you've been trying to avoid conflict and now somebody has just shown up. Um, could be a Pisces, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Whatever this is, it's going to lead to happiness. It could be something that you have been wishing for. Um, with this Two of Swords here, it feels as though somebody has been uh, sitting on the fence and, and they've been dealing with a lot of opposition and blocking themselves, blocking their emotions, perhaps even blocking the truth. And it's like now, I feel like this month, it's like things change. This could be a sudden, a sudden split, okay, a sudden change, a sudden new idea, a sudden new thought. You see how the... Some, the, the butterfly gets split. It's like it's, it's you suddenly, you know, things suddenly change. Okay? So let's just read this, this card right here. Communication. Listen carefully. Speak clearly and with confidence. And this is a card of confidence as well. This is November or month two. We communicate with others using verbal and nonverbal techniques. Our body language, listening skills, and attitude determine how effective we are as communicators. It takes work and effort to improve our communication skills, and with patience, they will develop over time. Miscommunication occurs when we are unable to listen to other people. Arguments, mistakes, and conflict occur when we refuse to acknowledge information or or negotiate somebody has been refusing this is refusing to take a new approach refusing to exceed refusing to accept so somebody has been refusing to accept something arguments mistakes and conflict occur when we refuse to acknowledge information or negotiate at the heart of all relationships is communication. Hidden messages can be seen by looking at body language, facial expressions, and the tone of voice. Improvements in these areas help to support solid friendships and relationships. Speak with truth and integrity. Say what you mean and mean what you say. <clears throat> Don't be impatient and intolerant. This could lead to misunderstandings and actions that once said cannot be taken back. Spiritual communication is high right now. Take notice of these signs and symbols from the spirit world as they try to connect you through music, feathers, butterflies, dragonflies, moths, birds, and number sequences. Be open to receiving these messages as they come from the heart with love. Right now you are asked to listen with empathy and understanding to those around you. Place yourself in the other person's shoes to gain a new perspective. There are better ways to get your message across. Be respectful and open-minded when speaking to others. Lead by example and express yourself diplomatically with honesty and dignity. Dignity. It is better to communicate your feelings instead of being burdened by them. Where are we? I lost my place. When you discuss your issues, you allow space for solutions to be negotiated and resolved and improve your current state of affairs. It is important that you avoid committing to plans and projects if you don't have all the information. Ask for more details and when appropriate, speak to professionals such as counselors, financial advisors, solicitors, or teachers. Never be afraid to ask questions. It's okay if you don't have all the answers. Affirmation, I am able to communicate clearly and honestly, making powerful connections with others. <clears throat> so, it's funny that my throat is acting up too. So anyway, it's, it's, November is a month of communication, communicating clearly with others. And that is communication as well. So I feel like in the, uh, the next three months is three months is really going to be it's going to be about communication 
It's going to be about acceptance. It's going to be about taking a new approach. It's going to be coming up with new ideas. Ideas. Okay. It's going to uh, be about taking your power back. More than anything, the next three months is going to be about acceptance. Okay. Acceptance. Acceptance of what is. Acceptance of the truth. And really listening. Okay. Part of communication is listening. Letting people know that you are listening. Really giving people the time. Anyway, there's something that you don't see, okay, with the moon card. And maybe that's where why you need to listen. You know, if you're not listening effectively, then you're not seeing the whole picture. But this Nine of Cups is happiness. This is This is things looking up. But things look up when you look below the surface, you know. Um, anyhow, let's read this one. Exchanging gifts. Exchanging gifts. The law of giving and receiving... Currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. You're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner or of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them, yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time. Exchange your experience and skills and commit heart and soul to what you are choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring into your life. <clears throat> So I feel like in November you're going to you're going to be needing other people. You know what I mean? Be sure to give them the time of day. That's what I see. Listen, give them time. <clears throat> and obviously communication is a very 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 big deal. Anyhow, relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force, energy between two beings. It grows exponentially, or whatever, it grows, when it is reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as an offer, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours if you open yourself up to it. So, I feel as in November, you know, it's all about exchange. It is all about exchange in November. There's an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment. But it's not one-sided. You, you, what you give is what you get. I'm not saying anything bad about you. Okay, I'm not. I'm just giving you the message here. Um, I chose you to do, do second. You know, there's, there's absolutely nothing against you. And I know some people take things personally. Don't take anything personally. And that's not just for me. That's in life. Don't take it personally. Maybe there's something that you're not seeing, that you're just refusing to hear. You're not listening. Because it's coming off as personal, right? There's something that you're not seeing. You're going through some sort of transformation right now, by the way. And... During this transformation, you can learn from other people. And I say that you're going through a transformation because we have this butterfly here and we have this butterfly here. This butterfly is 
as being split up, split. So there, there, there's some, when you go through it, a transformation is a death. So you may have experienced a death, or you may have experienced a release or a loss. But that has all happened for a reason. There's something that you don't see that could make you really, really happy if you could just open yourself up to the possibilities. So I feel like in November, you know, you are making progress. This is making progress, headed towards success. I feel like you are being recognized for your uh, strength, uh, for overcoming whatever it is that has defeated you. You are being recognized for that. Um, I think that that uh, you 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 really need to open yourself up and 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 stop avoiding, stop avoiding whatever new situation they're trying to bring into your life. Okay. Um, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is mild conflicts. Um, you could be dealing. You could be dealing with people that are immature, people that gossip, or maybe it's you. I don't know. I don't know. These are people that speak sometimes without thinking. These are these these people um, sometimes bite off more than they can chew or stick their nose in where it doesn't belong, and that causes conflicts. You, you could be dealing with people that um, are very, very impulsive in your life. Or maybe you need to be impulsive. Maybe maybe you don't need to be impulsive. I mean, the Page of Wands, this is somebody who gets excited. You may have somebody coming into your life that is very, very exciting. Somebody that sparks your curiosity and you need to let them in. Stop blocking them. You could have somebody that maybe this person's a little bit younger than you. Maybe. I mean, it feels like we, you you have an exciting opportunity and and you got to and you're being called to give this per open yourself up to this person. It feels like this person this person could if you're single or whatever, this person could be somebody that is very well suited for you. And I think that there is a feeling of curiosity with this person. Let them in. Don't block them. Give them a chance. It could be two females, okay? We could have, you know, a same-sex relationship here. I'm just saying. We could. Anyway, um, if you are a male watching this, you could have a choice. You could have a choice between two females. A fire sign and an air sign. Even if you, if this is a choice between two, a, a difficult choice between two people. So in November, you will probably have to make some sort of difficult choice between two people, a fire sign and an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius versus um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I think that you will be very conflicted about it. So be prepared. And this is this is somebody the the Knight of Swords is somebody that and this somebody the the air sign could arrive into your life out of the blue, very sudden. This is a very sudden energy. So things suddenly change for you. My advice is to whoever this is, you're going to receive communication from somebody and I think that it, it may even shock you. It may surprise you. And you may be reluctant to open up or even give this person a chance. My advice is to give this person a chance. So anyway, Libra, I think November, there's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment and healing. But you're going to have to open yourself up and, 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 and don't push it away. There's stuff that you don't see about whoever this person is and you won't see it unless you... Communicate with them. Communicate with them. So that's what I have for month two or November. This person might have a gift for you. And you don't even know it. Alright, let's do month number three. 
manifestation manifestation powerful very very powerful a higher power wow take a look at that month three manifestation a higher power you are going to be you're going to have a divine connection by the looks of things big one you may you may have manifested something and or there's a higher power involved here but, oh my god i can't even get over it there's absolutely a higher power involved here there is no doubt about it four of pentacles holding on to something three of wands this is something is about to happen. There's about to be a spark. There is. There's about things are about to catch on fire. Something is about to happen. Things are about to get lit up by the looks of things in December or month number three. Things are something is about to change. The sun. Woo! That's bright. Very bright. Three oh pain. Painful. We got some pain here. And judgment. Judgment. So some sort of truth. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. This is releasing pain. This is a release and this is pain. So in December, this is releasing pain happiness extreme healing this is something bright this is a bright new opportunity this is enlightenment somebody has been holding on to pain obsessed somebody has been obsessed with something but it's like burning it somebody is about to this is a burning something is burning Taking those swords out. Deciding to be happy. This is this is a higher power. This is finding the faith, believing in yourself. Receiving some sort of guidance or counseling or something from somebody that helps you to release. Because this is releasing. This is a wake-up call. This is an epiphany. This is realizing, realizing that there is happiness. It's like somebody received some sort of divine guidance. No kidding. That it's time to let go of the pain. It's time to release the pain. Huh. This right here is something is about to be put burned you know what I mean something is about to be set on fire hmm let's go I need to get a card for that three of wands get prepared get prepared something is about to happen you really do need to get prepared but this, you know, I hate to take it reverse, but if you think about that, the Ten of Wands reverse, this is this is dropping it. This is dropping it. This is dropping that load, dropping that baggage, burning it. It's like getting it, throwing it away. So I feel as though you guys are about to let go of something. One more card. Nine of Cups reverse. Something that hasn't made you happy. But it's time for healing. It's time for happiness. I feel like in December, you guys are really, really charging forward. You're in a new spot. Okay? In December, you are being divinely guided to go after happiness. You are seeing the light. Seriously, seeing the light. And it is a bright freaking light. It's very bright. This is, this is receiving. This is a renewal. A spiritual renewal. Anyway... So I think that you guys are, this is, the next three months is going to be, a, three months is going to be acceptance, 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 acceptance of the truth. And then releasing the pain. Big healing time for you. 
huge. It's like it's like God or higher power has stepped in and they are helping you to release something that has really broken your heart. It's caused major heartburn and bleeding in your heart. It has. It's really held you down and overwhelmed you for a long time. And it, now it's time for you to be happy. So I feel like December is a month of... I mean, the Hierophant is believing in yourself. Going your own path. Deepening your practice. Listening. So in November, you're not you, you're starting to listen. And, and now in December, it's like you've heard. You've heard. That's what this is. So anyway, let's get this one. Uh, you have manifested something. Manifested some sort of happiness. Now this is a renewal. And, and this could be a renewal. But I think it's a renewal of self. Okay? I do. Because a lot of you have been holding on to something that broke your heart. And this is the card of release. This is dying to live again. Letting something go. So that you can be happy. And that is what that is. But there's somebody that has been in denial. We think about the last, the November, uh, denial was up here. Manifestation. The wizard is a symbol of magic and manifestation whose power is activated harmoniously through the mind and heart, bridging humanity with the world of spirit. The wizard borrows the power of the universe to direct and enhance energy to a specific task, healing or outcome. Yeah, you're being healed. You are being healed. A wise wizard is loving, spontaneous, and transparent. With intelligence and an open heart, the wizard is able to help all people, himself included. The wizard does this by harnessing the power that is all around him. Without expectation, the wizard allows the beauty of magic to come through him rather than trying to control and manipulate it. An open and trusting heart is a refined tool of perception. Right now you have the power to manifest your dreams into reality. With pure thoughts and intention you can create magic in the world around you. Allow energy to flow through you with ease and with purpose and you can create a magical life. Learn to share your natural gifts with others. You are here to help humanity in a positive way. Refrain from sharing your personal inten intentions now, as they will be easily influenced with others' distorted energy. You have the power to create and shine your light upon the world. Examine your thought patterns and energy and amplify your intentions. Positive thought and creativity will bring you closer to your goals one step at a time. Intentions are everything right now. Focus your attention on seeing the magic in all things, including the beauty residing in the darkness. Look toward the stars, the stars for guidance. Astrological influences are high right now. Uh, affirmation. I am a conscious creator of the energy around me. My heart and mind are unified in spirit. So you, this is like the magician. So you, this is this is finding the resources within you. Okay, the magician sheds the old to bring in the new. So you will be shedding something, and you will be healing. You will be going through some sort of healing, and you will be receiving something. You will be. You will, be, you will be receiving something for the hard work, for taking action, for letting go of whatever this painful situation is. Um, you're going to be receiving something. A higher power. Conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. And you will be having a partnership with spirit during this month. And I think that you already do, but it's going to be deeply heightened in December, okay? This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have 
in an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more, more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Now is the time to examine what you are giving energy and attention to in the back of your mind. If you're obsessing about being right, about old resentment, resentments or failed expectations, about money or about any other people, places or things, there, these will be the source from which you create. But you want spirit to be your source? Take heart, for your higher power will never desert you, and it is always waiting for you to remember the sacred partnership you say, share. Turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. There is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and, your tr and trust that they will be taken care of. You are in good hands. So in December, you are being protected. And you are going through a major, major spiritual awakening. And I think that you are going to be receiving a very, a, a huge, a huge download, a huge amount of divine guidance. Okay, this guidance is going to really, really, really wake you up to something that you have never experienced before. Okay, um, whatever this is, it is it, it's really going to help you to heal. It's going to help. It's going to make you very, very, very happy. Okay, um, and that is what I have. So I feel like the next three months is going to be uh, huge for you in regards to some sort of awakening. It's going to be, you are going to be going through a major transformation, a major awakening in which you are going to have a lot of power in your own hands. You will be accepting things, seeing things clearly, um, delivering truth, communicating, listening, uh, going through some major, major, major changes. Um, congratulations, Libra. It looks as though you are ascending as far as I'm concerned. Good luck.